So that could be like a big challenge in like getting people to switch over to manually installed apps or apps from outside the Play Store. Um, I really hope we don't move in that direction because again, it's gonna make things like de-Googling even harder, which I think, actually, let's take this to the next level. I think this might even pose just a general problem. And look, I, I am one of the largest probably critics on YouTube regarding Linux phones. <laughs> Like, I have not had a good experience with them, and my reviews that are coming soon are going to speak to that. But this also speaks to how even custom ROMs are kind of a Band-Aid solution. Again, you know, like they're built on a platform, AOSP, that is open source, but still controlled by Google. Google can start implementing a lot of things um, to make even the custom ROM scene be kind of sucky. Um, and all these phones that we're using for custom ROMs, they're Google Pixels. Um, the only reason why that's like, like Google at any point in time can lock down the bootloader and make it pretty much impossible to use custom ROMs on their phones, um, which is what Samsung does, which is what pretty much every other manufacturer does. The only reason custom ROM space is like the way it is right now is because Google has been open enough to allow it. And then obviously you have like the tons of devices available on Lineage OS, like the older devices. Um, I think over time people find ways to get around the bootloader, but my point stands, Google at any point in time can kill custom ROMs. Google at any point in time can kill things like Aurora. Google at any point in time can kill pretty much any YouTube front end. They can kill Invidious. Reddit can kill all these third party clients. Um, what else? What else did we cover? <laughs> like any, any big tech company, as long as you're using Band-Aid solutions can kill a Band-Aid solution.